Hello everybody, this is Robert from Deep Thought Cycle and this is off the bike review a little bit. It's been a long time, right? I know, like getting ready to go back like I told you guys, so so I've been crazy. Uh, but in the next weeks I'll be getting back and expect a lot of reviews coming because I've just got a ton of stuff uh, that I gotta put out there and it's been really, really tough. You know, I've look at me, I've lost like I gained weight, lost weight. Getting ready. Uh, so here's the final plan. We're going to Nevada, going to the desert, going outside of Reno, taking my three boys. They won't let my wife in, but I'm going Tesla do or die. And it's just like a modern day wagon trail adventure. Um, and I'm getting some gear here. And the first day in a long time I rode out here, I'm about 35 kilometers away. And um, I pulled Solaris Apollo and Bobby. And well, let me show you outside here. We're at this touring shop, and this is the first touring shop that I've ever been to in China called Touring Bike Workshop. And it's out here in this place called Foshan. And they've got a ton of Shirley stuff in here. And they've got, uh, they've got lots of, like every bike's got a roll hop, right? So it just makes me want more. And um, cool, and, and, and honestly, in, in 20 years in China, this, this shop has got, more than I've seen in a long time. All those goodies, it's like Christmas every day, right? And check, I mean, they got all that, they got, they got all your adapter stuff for uh, all kinds of coolness uh, for your son, for your, for your dyna dynamos and stuff like that. They got all the cool locks and stuff. So I know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I got from them. And I'm gonna tell you what I didn't get and I'm gonna tell you why uh, and stuff like that. And so there's, there's a, there's a ton, there's so much that we got to talk about. Um, so where do we start? Remember I was telling you guys about my tires and I thought that they weren't so stable? Well, look, I've got like, you see, this is a six person tent right here in the front vegetable. This is the uh, Big Agnes, uh, Big House 6. I'm going to go out and do a review with that tonight maybe. When I leave here, we're going to go set it up and practice a little bit with it. Um, this bastard trailer here, I'm going to tell you all about it. It's called a Midget Camper. How... How fucking racist is that? It's a midget camera, right? I didn't make that name, but um, but that's what it's called. And I'm going to tell you all about that and do a good in-depth review on it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though. It's only got a 16-inch wheel, and it is a pain in the ass to put the fucking, the fucking, uh, what do you call this? The, the hitch on there, right? So, got the steel mounts on my trailer fixed. Thank you, Artie. Artie's MIA for a long time, though. We don't know where he's at. Um... So Bobby's, wait till you see how big Bobby's gotten everybody. He's got, since the last video, he's just like grown. So we're thinking about getting Bobby's own bike. And um, check out these bad boys here. They got some fat boy or whatever this is. And um, and all these kind of cool little Shirley's, huh? And, uh, and everybody's got to roll off but me, right? I want to cry, right? <laughs> but um, anyways, one day, right? And um, so anyways, I'm thinking about getting Bobby uh a salsa 24 inch what do you guys think what is the best kids bike i'd like to get him a 26 inch bike because he's so heavy to pull but at the same time i don't know if he could hang with me in the desert so much so what i did here is i changed my rim in the front right here in the front you know what i did i changed my rims out and and i forgot to tell the guy don't use center lock and look at they give me center lock and what is center lock even good for i just asked the guy about it. he says it's got more torque or something I don't know I think it's Shimano just trying to rip people off but this is the TK 540 just like on my old bike that was stolen I got new ones Woo! I can tell you just by putting that bad boy on the back today it is so much stiffer feeling you know my god it feels so nice and stiff I miss that feeling um, so I need to put it in the front because I'm carrying a lot of bags right and you know about my Ortley bags that I had before well I called up these guys here who in the shop here and um. And, uh, and hey, and hey, we, this guy right here, he's a boss here, I think, right? And hey, Hi. what's your name again? MJ. Jay, right? And what's your name? Jerry Z. Jerry Z, yeah. So, so Jay here, he told me, like, hey, he doesn't got early. He said I should check out the, the Arkles, right? So I, I looked on Arkle. I said, well, what's up with Arkle? So I looked it up, and I found, well, that's what Lohan used. Fuck it. So if Lohan's using that's cool. I'll use it. It's good. I bought the 35s, and... Um, and that's cool, I mean, because I, I for the, what is it, 35s? And I, and, I, and I wanted to put them on the front because I'm carrying so much shit. And then I go home and I start buying everything. I thought, oh my God, it's not enough. So they got a 45 and I tried to ask them to buy it, to trade it. 
and check it out. I got a little bit of damage on the bag or something here, so they're not going to exchange it. So I'm fucked. Um, so I'm stuck with the 35, right? Uh, because uh, so it doesn't matter. I can't afford to get another bag, so we're going to try to make the 35s work. And um, and, but anyways, what we're putting on right here is this is a uh, 20. This I think the 25 liter extra large. This is the front handlebar because I just need to put tons and tons of shit on here. Um, look here, we, I put this uh, old man mountain. And this is a Pioneer. It's not the uh, Sherpa. The Sherpa's supposed to be the new one. They don't even sell the, the Pioneer outside of the U.S. anymore. Uh, but the guy the guy said, it's cool. So what he did is he made this, this awesome custom mount here. And it works cool. And I could totally put the, the 26 frame on here. And, and why, why did I choose the old man mount? Number one, if I get the Shirley one, it's too hard to get on the airplane. And number two, check it out. I could use a, the salsa anywhere racks to hold like uh, sleeping pads and stuff at the same time that I'm holding, that I'm holding uh, water at the same time I got my front, my front bags on. So that's, that's awesome because I have a lot of sleeping pads. I'm gonna do, it's going to be like a camping channel now, right? <laughs> And um, got all the gear. I'm taking off my Marathon Supreme tires that I love to death. And this is really tough for me because I, I thought, well, I asked some people on, on, on Reddit. I said, hey, should I take the should I take the Marathon Supremes, or should I should I go with the the old the touring the tour? And it's like, all right, look, the Supremes are so light and so fast. And on the back, I got the Marathon Plus tour. And I thought, well, look, I'm going to be in the desert with my kids, right? And I don't got time to, to really fuck with the tubeless. And I love them to death, and it's so much easier. So I put on the Marathon Touring Plus. And today, man, you should see my, my Strava, whatever it is. From my, my, I, I took every bridge, the Loshi. I, oh, my wife, I took a picture. Man, I was like in my granny gear, pulling the peop, pulling the kids up, like the, 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 the fucking the bridge. And... and and then go down and go in the down tunnels. I, I had to use my granny gear, my lowest gear, like, oh my God, it was killing me, man. And um, But it's a birthday test, right? Let's see if I could still do it on my birthday, um, after my 43rd birthday. See if I'm strong enough, and if I can't pull my own kids, and how am I gonna take them to the desert? So I just toughed it out, you know? But, and, and that's and that's my whole, my whole model, you know? It's heavy tires, but you know, tough it out because they're a little bit more safe in the desert if I'm going out to the desert and, and it's just me and the bike and the kids and and fucking spiders and scorpions and snakes and shit. And, you know, we gotta just do it, you know, and fucking don't cry. It's heavy, but it's, it's strong. And and I'll tell you what, these TK five forties I got you know today when it was so hard I'm going up I'm going up the fucking little bridge there and like and like in the lowest gear with the highest RPM I'm like, fuck man, imagine if I had my old tires but but it don't matter because these are so rigid, man. I could feel how rigid they are. I mean, it's like, oh, it's so good to have them back. Um, so I've got a hundred percent faith in these tie in these in this wheel. Now I went. They didn't have the hope too, and a lot of hope stuff is fake in China, right? Um, um, anyways, and so I, I wouldn't even know if I bought it. But I was gonna. I asked him for the XT, and he, this guy's all telling me, oh man, you should use the LX. It's stronger than the XT. And um, you know my crank set right now is the LX crank set instead of the XT crank set, and uh, and after 18,000 kilometers, I haven't had to change the rings at all. And like on the my old XT crank set, I had to change the rings like three times, like or twice, or three times. It was like super pain in the ass, getting worn down a lot, you know. And uh, you guys see me riding in rain and stuff, so you know it's you know I still ride in in, in weather and stuff, so I don't know. I don't, I'm not really babying the bike, so I don't know why it made it so much noise. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give LX a chance. So these are the LX hubs instead of XT hubs. I guess these are the working man's hub, right? So um, we're gonna check it out, and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, and, uh, and, and fucking, you know, the, the, another thing is, you know, my rear, look at, look at this Topic one, right? I'm going through the aluminum with the bags, right? But it's the only one that could carry the cargo box for the dog, right? Because none of the other racks, you can mount the cargo box on it, right? And also, I'm a little bit worried because it's not so sturdy, but, but since I got my new rims on the back, you could totally feel there's less flex, right? So I thought about, like, look at these guys. Everybody in here's got, like, this awesome kind of, you know, like this one, they got the built-in rack and stuff. 
you know, I thought about getting it a different rear rack, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you know, I wish I wish it had some different stabilizer bars because like, look at how flimsy these are. I'm gonna ask these guys they got different stabilized bars. I haven't figured out what the deal is. I'm gonna get a, a bottom. I'm gonna tell you all about this little trailer later. Um, this is just a quick little update. I came in here because when I got these rims, I forgot to tell them to change the, to not use center lock and they put the center lock hubs on there. And, um, so now I've got to buy these XT. I'm getting the 180 in the front and the 160 in the back, just like before, because when you're pulling a trailer, you need the 180 to slow down and stuff. When you're going out, when you're carrying a lot of weight and stuff. Uh, so it's really great. Um, so I'm gonna put this on here and it's cost fucking so much money, like everything else for this trip. Um, but, but let's see if it'll make it work, right? And, uh, and uh, we're just gonna put my other rim on there. And uh, look at, I'll tell you what, man, it takes me 25 minutes. It's so pain in the ass to get the trailer on here. And can you imagine, I'm tired in the desert. It's cold and snowing. The kids are crying. I've just been working all day. And I got a fucking 25 minutes to put the thing on there. So I got so much stuff to talk to you guys about. Oh, and life has been going like a mile a minute for me. And I'm seriously trying to get out of here by the end of August. And um, so look at this. So anyways, look at this. One of the big things here, remember if you guys seen Lohan's videos, remember how he was talking about the plastic mounts? And he said if he had plastic mounts up in the Arctic Circle, he didn't think that they were going to work. Well, you know, the desert night's a lot of freezing stuff, right? So actually after I got these, I mean, I wish I would have got the Arkham bags before I got my Ortley bags, but um, they'll probably work, right? And um, yeah, so this guy, this guy shot this called... MJ Touring Bike Shop Workshop, and I got to tell you, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, if, you know, you know, you know, all the bike ninjas. You don't know what bike ninjas are. In China, we call bike ninjas. You know what bike ninjas are? Mm -hmm. Bike ninjas are all the rich guys that put on their funny-looking bike clothes and they go out on the weekend and they look like a ninja. Yeah. I, call, I call those bike yeah, ninjas. Yeah, but bike ninjas not the popular phrases in China. <laughs> no, no, because I, 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 I don't go out like I don't see you, and and I don't, I don't, I don't. The only people I ever see when I go riding every day are bike ninjas, right? So, <laughs> but I know I know there's other people. I just don't see them, right? And I see a lot of bike. Ninjas. So I was, I was saying that maybe this was a bike ninja store, but you never see a bike ninja with the Rollhoff. They just got the bright bright clothes, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, some really cool stuff in here, and uh, they got a good. When I came in here, this guy was building a rim, and you know I've always been really really scared to have my rims built in China. Because like I've seen guys build rims like, but this guy's here. He's using an actual park tool with a with a uh, thing to chew the tire and stuff like this. And cal he's putting on the roll. And that's the biggest thing about roll hops. It's like, are the spokes gonna break or what? And, and, and I don't know. You could put another derailleur in your back real easy. What? Right? I don't know. You know I'm gonna get a roll off one day though. Um, but look at this bad boy right here. They're putting on this rim, and. Uh, I don't know, man. They're using the toe peak stuff. I don't know. Maybe toe peaks. I don't build rims. It's, I don't. I don't really don't know what the fuck. But it's cool. Um, they could build me to roll off it. <laughs> I was kidding. All right. So, Artie's missing in action. You guys see Artie out there? Tell him what's up, Artie. Don't be a stranger. Um, it's gonna be real tough, everybody, to leave my wife here, and it's it's killing me. Um, and, I, and everybody's telling me, well, you know, and, and there's a lot of anti-immigrant anti shit going on in the U.S. It's just going, making me crazy. Um, you know, I, I've almost, I spent almost 20,000 yen already on my equipment. If, if anybody wants to donate uh, to Patreon or if you want to just, you know, hit me up or WeChat or PayPal or Western Union, I'm not, that's cool. Um, I could really use the funds. Uh, and, and that's great. And you know what? You don't have to give anything at all. Uh, that's not why I made this channel. I don't even know why I made the channel. I just made the channel to have deep thoughts, right? Um, yeah. It's been a wild ride, right? I promise you it won't end when it gets to Nevada. Um, it will just continue. I got some solar chargers and stuff. You check it out. Lots of good stuff, right? And uh, we're going we're gonna to see how this works. They put a Mac cover on here. That's cool. That's cool. Good deal. I wonder if I could put my phone in there and stuff. Because I'm having a awesome, awesome. Because I'm like, I'm, I'm, sho I'm shoving. You know, look at, look at my phone here. I got this, uh, my battery, my phone is all fucked up. So I got to get this big charger. Yeah, so my battery's messed up. So I got this called a zero lemon charger on here. 
and I've been shoving it in the toe peak. Uh, but check it out right here. We could, you guys, check what do we got in here. Let me show you. Check out my, my check out these work shoes, huh? These are these are Timberland Pros steel boots, electrical protection for working in Tesla. These meet the safety standards. Boom! I'm gonna get those. Got my SSK keyboard in here. But wait, wait, let me show you something. Let me show you uh, before I turn it off here. Where's my shit at? Um, yeah, it's too bad. Too bad. Uh, let me see. Where's my... Uh... I'm going to turn off the camera. I'll turn back on a second. I'll show you this before I turn off. This is our 28-watt solar charger. We're going to check it out in the desert, see if it works good. You know, my, my light come out here right now. I don't even have a light that's charged. So, anyways, I will catch you guys soon with a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm pretty tired. Sorry for the vulgarity. I'll try to tone down a little bit. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Everybody, um... Okay, here we are again. So I got this guy in Shanghai who told me that he was the best wheel builder in China. And he built these TK540s. And this guy right here measured it. He measured with this uh, part tool, like gauge meter. And he also measured true. He's got, a, he's got a meter on the other side that you could see the dial go up and down. And when he was measuring, it was like, it was like crazy. Like, like there's, he said it was too low tension. And the true was off, and I told this guy, I said, man, look at, I never had, I never had wheels built in China, and you just build it like, shit, so these guys have got to re true my tires right now, and um, also, I don't know if you guys know, Shirley, we talked about the kickstand thing before, but Shirley's like, selling plates, and they're telling people not to use the kickstand, and when I got my kids, I'm trying to set up the bike, I'm like, man, I, Bobby, hold it, Bobby, hold it, Bobby, hold it, but if Bobby's holding the bike, you know, Who's gonna watch Slurus and Apollo, right? So, uh, so I'm getting these guys here to make. The, they they got their own version. Of the, I bought this. I'll show you. I got this thing called a click stand. What everybody said was cool, but it's totally weak. So they they made their own version of a click stand, and it's a lot thicker and it's two piece, right? So I'm gonna have to like put it on my bike or something like this and strap it on. I'm not sure how I'm gonna carry it yet. I thought I'm gonna put some Velcro on there. And then I can hold my bike up because I can't just let it throw on the ground. But I gotta get some kind of wheel lock. Let me tell you, it's a whole different ball game when you're fully loaded than you're going to work. You know? I've never had front bags until today and it was a, it was a really interesting thing. Um, it's a pain in the ass to not let fall down, right? But if you put on the, if you put on the kickstand, then um, you might crush the chainstay and surely will not, have a warranty on any frame that has a kickstand. They will not, they will not uh, do the warranty work, so I don't know. Um, are, uh, you know uh, so anyways, they're gonna make this for me. I'm paying like 360 yen or so. I don't know how much I forgot. And, um, and also we got a chain tincture finally. Woo. But th this guy's telling me chain tincture is only for short single speed and stuff. My problem is with the horizontal dropouts, I wanted to use it so it's always the same mounting because it's always it's so hard for me on the horizontal drop out to know how it's how it should be straight right you know um, anyways so just a quick update i'll catch you guys later bye